Good morning. Welcome back to the Monday Market Update. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, um, enjoyed the weather. It's starting to cool down and well, as cool as it can be in Texas right now. Uh, and we're really enjoying it. So uh, today I have with me um, Lauren Holcomb. She is another realtor at At Home Texas Real Estate. You may remember her from um, one of our earlier shows way back in the beginning mm -hmm. um, <laughs> when we were still in the conference room. But we uh, we're very excited to have you here, Lauren. Thank you so much. I'm okay. excited. So. Um, Let's just jump right into it. I want to know, so uh, we kind of chatted a little bit before this and you told me you are from Greenville, you're native. Right, right. Okay, yeah. so tell me about growing up. You grew up on a ranch. Yeah, I was raised here in Hunt County and um, on a cattle ranch we raised uh, Texas Longhorn cattle. And um, I just loved the ranch life, living on acreage, and um, it's definitely a lot of work, but mm -hmm. it was so much fun. There was always something to do all the time, you know? So um, I really like that part of it going, going into real estate as mm -hmm. far as helping people find land and understand the maintenance of it and the care that you have to do when you have acreage like that. So that's, yeah. that's fun. And so. so like, I guess a lot of people probably, I mean, they might not know that whenever you're looking for like land or farm and ranch, it's it can be vastly different yes. than when if you're looking just for a home and so it's really nice to have somebody that is well versed in that right so right, right yeah as far as i mean like if you're looking at unimproved land and it doesn't have utilities and do, do the mineral lights mineral rights convey or not you know things like that that people don't think about sometimes unless you've done that so right yeah right awesome okay so now that you um you actually live in uh you live outside of hunt county now in emory right and you uh tell us like tell me about the um areas that you that you kind of specialize in okay so definitely hunt county because mm -hmm. i've grew up here and i know a lot of the areas but um since i live in emory i know rains county very well um sulfur springs uh grew up around sulfur springs as well because that's where we would take off our cattle um to um get meat and things like that. That's the nicest way to say it. <laughs> um, I have so, a cow in my freezer, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, so, so anyway, very familiar with Silver Springs. We'd go and get feed and everything there too. So, um, and then I have a lot of friends that live in Van Zandt County. So um, I, I know Van Zandt County pretty well too. What is in Van Zandt County? I don't, I'm not familiar. Well, Van Zandt County is famous for the Canton First Monday. Okay. Um, so that's the big, the big thing with Van Zandt that everybody knows. But um, yeah, it's a pretty big county though. I mean, they have, have, um, their their seat is Canton, but then they have um, Wills Point, and it runs um, Interstate 20 that goes right into Dallas. So it's okay. it's a highly trafficked county, I would say. But okay, yeah, okay, yeah. awesome. Um, so we kind of got, I guess we got our licenses around the same time. Yeah. Um, what's it been like for you, like working during this <sighs> pandemic? Like, what's, <laughs> how's that going? Well, um, I did not work for maybe two and a half or three months mm -hmm. because I have a little one and I just didn't want to get out and have her in any kind of childcare because I was just so unsure. So I, I took a break, but it seemed like during that time, a lot of other realtors were so busy. Mm -hmm. And then when I started back um, June 1st, I was really busy. I mean, I could have been even busier, but I was trying to kind of like pace myself since I hadn't been working, but it didn't seem to really slow down this year. So that's uh, new yeah. <laughs> to not have a slow time. Cause when I started, it was slower cause it was in the fall. Yeah. So, um, and so now it's just been whoa all year <laughs> yeah I was when people are like they're saying that like things are slower in the pandemic I'm like what no, yeah no, no, no things were slow in November last year like this is nuts this yeah is crazy yeah so. I don't think realtors feel the the down of yeah the, everything we don't feel that right now yeah. I, don't think. I agree yeah. I agree well that's awesome thank you um is there anything else anything you want to spout out nothing um yeah I do okay. um so um, and this is just in general, but they're um, doing nominations right now for um, the Hunt County um, the, uh, Reader's Choice. That's right. what I was trying to say. So yeah, I mean, definitely go out and vote for At Home Texas Real Estate because I think we're the best brokerage in Hunt County. We and are. yeah, and then you can vote for, you know, your favorite realtor or... And that is a fact. <laughs> Oops. <Okay. laughs> um, awesome. Well, thank you for, for chatting with me yeah. and coming on the show again. Um, we are going to be back in just a moment to talk about what's going on in Hunt County, but we are going to hear a word from our sponsors. At Money Law Firm, we are dedicated and focused on being professional, personal, and proactive. 
In the title business, there's a lot of paperwork, but when you walk in the door, you don't see that. You see clean, clear walls. You see very straight lines. Everyone here is like family. They, they have a great team of people. Um, the communication is great. Um, I send as much business as I possibly can down here because they take such great care of us. Welcome back. We are going to head right into it. So this week in Hunt County, um, we had 21 homes that were listed, 21 that were sold, and 15 that are pending. And I would say from last week and the week before, we're kind of staying steady, maybe down mm -hmm. by one or two homes, but um, not a huge deal, especially whenever you see um, we had 233 active homes this week, still very, very steady. Um, and the total sold in the last seven yeah. days so 4.9 million dollars i mean very we're right on the cusp of 5 million um which last week it was 5.8 so um you know not to sound redundant but it's it is steady um everything is going um really i would say really well right now average home price in hunt county in the last week has been 227,000, um which i think is it's a really great yeah. average price and it i is. think that uh, it's it's just gone up and up um which is great for anybody that's wanting to sell yeah. um <laughs> oh yeah for sure. and if you're wanting to sell let's get on it because we we have a shortage of sellers right now oh my gosh yes there's so <clears throat> many buyers and they're just there's not a lot of inventory for them and they're yes. just you know, grass man at straw. Yeah. So if you're wanting to sell, definitely this is definitely get it out there. Cause, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely the time. Um, so we're gonna head right into it. Um, I'm very excited to talk about this home. Oh, yeah. This is 3795 FM 118. This is in Greenville. It's listed at 599,900. Uh, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,346 square foot, and it's on right over 33 acres. So this is your own personal little mm -hmm. paradise. It's absolutely stunning. This farmhouse style, the porch going around the front and the sides there is, it's beautiful. Um, and you can see it's got that garage and then it actually has a, it looks like a little covered area that kind of connects from the garage to the house. Uh, perfect for entertaining um, any kind of like summer birthday, anything oh, like that. Yeah. It looks absolutely perfect. I like that porch a lot. Yeah, I do yeah. too. It's so beautiful. Um, and this looks like that's probably the upstairs um, game room. Mm -hmm. You know, media, you could be, well, I wouldn't use it for a medium room, but you could maybe with those really cool barn doors, you could kind of shut that off and, you know, kind of block out the light. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really yeah, cool feature. You know, if you have younger kids, even um, if the if the bedrooms are upstairs yeah. and you want to have friends over downstairs, you know, kind of block out the sound. Yes, that's what I was like going to say. I would close yeah. that to block out the noise of the plane. Yeah, or if you're, yeah, if your kids are up there playing, that's that's kind of a, yeah. an ingenious idea. I really like that. Yeah, it is nice. Um, this is beautiful. Yes, I love those beams up there. It's yes, so pretty. absolutely stunning. Um, I know that um, our broker, Ashley um, and Tracy, went to go see this house and she was raving about the floors. Uh, oh, she said yeah. in person they are just, they're just absolutely stunning. I so, bet they are. And I love um, the shiplap behind the fireplace. They've really stuck with a really nice um, farmhouse style. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's too modern or anything like that. I'd say it's pretty. You know? Yeah, it's true to farmhouse. Yeah, it looks true like to it. farmhouse. It's I like those li um, those where they're letting natural light in. Those windows on each side that looks really good too. Yeah, and I'm trying kind to see. Dark. Is that like a looks like a like a cedar? Yeah, I think beam they put across a beam. the windows. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I do like it. Um, yeah, it's 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 very pretty. Uh, and the bathroom. Oh yeah, they did wow. that stencil tile. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is it's so pretty, and yeah. that tub is literally what dreams are made of. Um, I'm a little iffy, I won't lie, about that window above that tub. Um, it's a little see-through for me. Um, <laughs> just, but... Um, you know, it's just a tree there looking at you. Luckily, it's this fine. is on 33 acres, so yeah. <laughs> no neighbors close enough. Yeah. Um, this is beautiful. I love that they did that um, subway tile all the way up the wall behind mm -hmm. the bathtub. I don't think you really see a lot of, um, a lot of bathrooms like that, you know? Yeah usually it's it's just in the shower anything like that but i think that's a really really cool feature very smart so you don't get water on the wall if you're getting yes, up and i you love know, yeah and smart. you just you squeegee it yeah you just get a squeegee that's so true i didn't think about that <laughs> yeah i i think of any way to clean <laughs> easier make it easier um countertops absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. um and then i love how they have the um 
What is it whenever you have the toilet in the in a separate room? Oh, mm, I don't know. The I name think it's of like that. a toilet room. It's a separate toilet. A, a water. <laughs> A water closet, a water closet, as my broker whispers yes. to me. Um, <laughs> a water closet. No, that's really, really nice. Um, I love having that separation. It makes yes. everything nice. Uh, I kind of wonder, like, what is in, is, is the closet in the bathroom? So there's or a closet maybe, in, yeah. yeah, it is a closet in the bathroom, which I love. Because yeah, I do too. You know, you yeah. throw your clothes everywhere. It's just perfect. So they did a really well, awesome job. Well, you're getting job. ready in there, so why not have the closet in there? Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Unless you're my husband, and then you just like walk through the house, and you know, <laughs> there's just a trail. Um, so this kitchen is it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I I love it. I love the countertops. The um, the tile the subway tile is really really nice. It almost looks like kind of like a Carrera marble. Yeah, look I to like it. that marble look to it. That looks good. Yes, and then um, the vent the vent hood over mm -hmm. the stove is really really nice. They've done really great picking out the fixtures, um, the lights over the countertops, and you see underneath the cabinets they have that lit, um, which I think is a really really nice feature to have. They did a good job matching that vent to the flooring. Mm -hmm. If you notice, because some I go in a few and they're a lot different, you know. But they did really good. But I guess that's because they remodeled it all together, so they had yes. they were had yeah, the opportunity to match it. Yeah, they did so great, and you can yeah. see like I I want to say that might be where the fridge goes yeah. um, on that other side and they have all the cabinets, um, perfect pantry area, and then just all these cabinets, all the drawers, there's just so much counter space. Um, this, I mean, it would be a dream to to not cook in that kitchen. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Since I don't, yeah. I don't know where the microwave is, I can't see it, but I would find it very quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then at another one of the bathrooms, you see they went with the same with that tile. They, I love that they have the black, the um, straight black um, hardware. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, because I think a lot of a lot of times you're going to see that um, more kind of dark bronzed um, hardware, but I I love the black. It is just such a great contrast, it and is. it just it stands really out so nicely. I think some people are afraid to use that because mm -hmm. they're like, "What am I going to match with it?" But it's really not. There's so much now, d decorative wise, that you can mm -hmm. buy at the store where they're using like black fonts and things like yes. that that could match all of yeah. that. You know, you know, I love um, all of the different. You know, my husband builds houses, and oh, so yeah, I see yeah. a lot of people that are doing things like black and even champagne hardware, like in showers oh, and things like that. Oh, I haven't and seen that. It's very, I've seen very the bronze beautiful. or the brass looking, but I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, well, a champagne will change ooh, your life, um, ooh, but yeah. you can't match that to anything. But yeah. it's still pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they went really, really well with this. Um, and then you can see this gorgeous 33 acres um, that you have here. And I was, we were right. Nobody can see you through your window in the bathroom yeah. because your driveway is what looks like three miles long. Oh, um, and one thing I wanted to mention about this, because I was looking at the pictures, um, they have a cattle guard at the um, driveway, like right before you get to the house. So it's like cross fenced. That's really nice that you can let your cattle out and you have the cattle guard. You don't have to worry about them getting up in the yard, but then you don't have to have like a full on fence. Like they what? have kind of like a little white picket fence around What is it, a so. cattle guard? Like what is that exactly? So it's it's an insert you put in the ground and it's um, bars. Um, oh. And then so the cattle can't, I mean, they can, I've got some caught in there before, I'm not going to lie, but for the most part, cattle will not cross that because they don't know how to walk across it. Um, so you don't worry about them getting in your yard and then you don't Very have to put up a barbed wire fence around your house, you know. Very interesting. Yeah. And that's so. why you're versed in, in <laughs> ranch yeah. and farms. Okay. Yeah. So they have that feature already there for you. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> okay. We're going to head on to the next home. Uh, yeah. This is 5078 FM 1565 in Caddo Mills. This is listed at 234,900. Um, this is three bed, two bath, 2,432 square foot, and it has right over five acres. So oh, yeah. very, very nicely sized, um, double wide, um, and a really great property, especially, yeah. I mean, Cattle Mills, oh, yeah. Cattle very Mills. coveted um, school district. Yes, and having five acres is, is nice. <laughs> that's a nice for that price yeah, point. Yeah, I so. think that's honestly a perfect, you know, if, if you're not gonna have um, cows or goats or anything like that, like five yeah. acres, that, that's just perfect. You yeah. know, get right. your golf balls. Uh, I want to, I want an ATV, you know, yeah, that would be perfect. I'd love that. That would be cool. Uh, the inside, very nice. It's so open. Yeah, it's it really is. a very large, um, 
mobile home. Mm -hmm. It's very large uh, and they've, they've done a really great job. This opens up to what looks like um, the living area and a um, or a da dining area and then possibly living area there in the back. Yeah, but, I like the sink there where you can look at, you know, look out at the dining and stuff yeah. like that. That's nice. You watch your kids yeah. mess up the rest of the house while you do their <laughs> While you clean dishes. everything in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, and then you see here, this was, um, I'm going to guess that area that we were just looking at from the other photo. So you can see it was the dining area that is right by the kitchen and you can see the living area and it has the fireplace. Yeah. Um, I like this, this light that they have hanging here. It's almost medieval. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. Like it's, that. it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, uh, extremely large bathroom. Yeah, that's I like huge. The separate sinks on the separate sides. That's nice. I do like that. Yeah. And, you know, I don't. I don't think I've seen a lot of um, bathrooms that have. I mean, they have the separate sinks, but I don't right. see them on separate sides, which is pretty. Um, that's kind of interesting. I, I, I like that, and I love the big giant tub. Yeah, um, and the vanity. There's a vanity there too. Yeah, on the. I, her side. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would absolutely love that. That's really nice to like yeah. sit and do your makeup and things like that. I love that. Yeah. Um, so we're moving into our next home. This is going to be 30 or 3233 Washington Street. This is in Greenville. It's listed at 197, 800, mm -hmm. three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,072 square foot. Um, it's got a little bit under a quarter of an acre. Yeah. So uh, this is a new build in 2019. <clears throat> it's a it's an interesting style. Uh, yeah. It looks very it, it's huge. It looks huge. Um, very well landscaped. It looks like they have sort of a, a small development of kind of the same homes. Yeah. Um, which is nice and a really nice driveway. They've done a really really good job. Yeah, they did put a really long driveway because this is close to downtown, so there's not a whole lot of parking. But they gave mm -hmm. you quite quite a good driveway. I like that. Yeah, about that's, it for sure. It is that is a very long driveway. Yeah. Inside, you can see uh, they've got the tile. Mm -hmm. um, everything is very, very well um, coordinated. Yeah. The colors, they all, uh, it's a really great color palette that they have here. Uh, neutral, not quite your typical um, dark stained floors with, you know, um, yeah, that's the true. Light lighter airy. walls. Um, you got that really gorgeous gray um, with the floors. And then um, here in the kitchen, um, I'm, it opens up to, I want to say we're either in the dining area here, maybe like a, a breakfast nook. Yeah. Um, and dining area on the other side, but it's, it's so well lit. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. They had a lot of windows, lots of natural light. Mm -hmm. And then I like how they did that chandelier to kind of give you a little, yeah. before you okay. get in there, you already have some style. <laughs> so this might, this might be the actual like dining area and living area. Yeah. Um, coming from the front, from the front door there. Yeah. I like um, that. I do too. I really like that. And I, I kind of, they've kind of staggered the cabinets, which I find interesting. Um, where the refrigerator is going to go and then the other cabinets. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what goes there. Well, I think oh, the that, stove. Okay. Yeah, the stove, stove in the middle. Yeah. I don't see a lot of kitchens without appliances in them and it, <laughs> it throws me off. Where's yeah. the microwave go? Um, but then I like this extra, um, like coffee bar or yeah. um, something along those lines over here. And you've got what could be your pantries um, there. So tons of storage um, and really great amount of room. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, okay, upstairs. Yeah, so this is upstairs. It's a game room or a median area that they have. And it's huge. Yeah. It would be so nice to do a little office right there, though, with those windows. That'd be pretty on that wall. That would be nice, too. Yeah. Flex no. space, you know. Yeah. Use it for, for anything. two things. Yeah. I think it'd be a little <laughs> bit difficult to do this as a media room just because of the windows. Yeah. Um, you'd have a lot of windows to cover up for that. But it would make an excellent game room, you know. Yeah. I, if, if you like pool table, it's always a perfect area to have, a, like, a pool table. Oh, that or would a, be a great space um, for a pool table. Air hockey, you know, whatever yeah. you're into. So, great area. Area. The wall, they've, I love gray. I love yeah. gray. I know Tracy, our boss, not a fan. Um, <laughs> I'm a huge fan though. <laughs> and, you can uh, always put a lot of color in there though. You know what I mean? Mm, Art no, no, no. or, you know, whatever, pillows. You if know? you come to my house, it is, it's beige on beige on gray <laughs> and maybe like a navy or something. Don't get crazy. Um, they It's beautiful. I mean, that room looks really big. You can see in the bathroom, it goes into um, a really nice closet. I can already see some of that shelving in there. So I think they've yeah. done a great job. Um, 
And this builder did good by like doing some upgrades and for mm -hmm. the ceiling and you know just making it a little bit nicer for that primary yeah. bedroom. So, I agree. Yeah. They even have the um, the um, electrical set to have your TV. It looks like to have your TV hung up on the wall. Yes. Um, have the outlets up there, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like the mirror. I like that too. Yeah, like yeah, it's very cute. Too. They've done a great job. It's um, and there's your gray tile. <laughs> <laughs> I like gray. I can't help it. I love it. Um, I like that they've painted the cabinets gray. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a little bit too. different. I think mm -hmm. that's really great. I like the cabinet above um, the toilet there, and yeah, it is nice a really to have that job. cabinet there. Yeah, out of the so, way, out of the floor space. But so you're not like running out of the shower into the hallway to get your towel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happens all the time in my house. Um, and then lastly here, and this is the bathroom that we saw um, from the bedroom earlier. This is when you're going through. Uh, you've got your nice shower here. I don't think that you're going to have a bathtub, but still have the really nice um, kind of Stand off. Stand-up shower, yeah. Yeah, the, the shower and then the, the, the toilet's kind of off into its own little area um, and then leads into a really nice sized closet. So um, this one, it's only been on the market again for two days. So let's oh, hopefully wow. we'll see it sold here in the yeah. next few. 2,000 square feet too. So. It's huge, yeah, it's huge. Uh, so our last active one that we have, this is gonna be 625 Cleveland Street. It is in Greenville, 150,000. Uh, four bedroom, two bathroom, 1,482 square foot, and again, right under a quarter of an acre. That is a lot of bedrooms to fit into a 1,400 square foot home. Yeah, it so, kind of looks like they might have converted that garage and mm -hmm. maybe that's how they did that, I'm not sure. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Does it look like that to you? No, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, they definitely converted the garage. Uh -huh. um, this has been on the market for five days. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was the one with the fireplace. I love that they painted that black. I'm a huge fan of yeah. of things like the being contrast. painted black. Yeah. Yes, I, I love that really um, modern kind of contemporary, oh, you know, yeah. feel uh, yeah. the modern farmhouse, anything like that. So I think that's a, a fun little thing that they did there. Yeah, Very nice. The updated. bathroom's great. Yeah. yeah, everything's been updated. Uh, here you see the kitchen. I like the stain in here. Mm -hmm. I like the darker cabinet. Uh, I do think, I mean, a lighter cabinet will probably open the space up a little bit more, but I'm not an interior designer, so I don't know. <laughs> they did. They do have <laughs> new appliances or they have that new uh, oven and range, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it still, still has, has plastic its, on it. <laughs> I was going to say it's hairnet, <laughs> yeah. but plastic works too. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I think you've got the, your window over the sink here. Um, you got your space over there for your dining table. I think it's a really, really awesome space. I don't foresee this actually staying on the market very long. I think it's priced very, very appropriately. Yeah. Um, perfect home for, you know, a smaller family. So yeah. we're going to move right into our solds and I am off on what I've got here. So this one is, um, this is 1911 La Fontaine oh, okay. Lane. That's mm -hmm. a mouthful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this was sold yet again by our own Sarah White, uh, only on the market for 18 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, it sold very, very close to asking. She has been putting things on the market and selling them and then her helping her buyers get into perfect homes so quickly. So congratulations yet again, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> um, very, very excited for you. This one here, this is in Wolf City. This is 406 South Preston Street. Mm -hmm. uh, our own Stacy Brantner, she was the buyer's agent for this. Uh, again, they sold so, actually they sold it at, at asking and this was only oh. on the market for uh, one day. It doesn't even give it to me, it says zero, but a day maybe. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, very, very cute. Stacy has been really really doing so well in Wolf City yeah. like I mean yeah Wolf selling, City's her area helping, but yeah she's she's really she's yeah. really bringing uh, a lot of Wolf, Wolf City knowledge yeah, to everybody that, that's so true that one had a really cool um, bar and like a little booth space in the kitchen oh, it was really? really interesting I looked at the picture earlier it was, really that's it probably was cool. I mean it's probably why it sold so fast it's yeah. super cute I love the color of it and everything then here we're gonna have 6700 Flamingo Roll Road in Greenville. Um, this was only on the market for two days, mm -hmm. sold very, very quickly, and it sold very, very close to asking. So 
Yeah. Yet again, if you have the uh, right realtor and you listen to your realtor, <laughs> they will get your home sold. Uh, yeah. You know, if they can price it appropriately. Lastly, we're going to have uh, 1200 Kenny Drive. This is in Commerce, mm -hmm. uh, only on the market yet again for two days. So things are going on the yeah, market and so coming fast. right off. That's whenever you have the um, shortage of sellers, mm -hmm. you're going to see that kind of happening because buyers are s snatching stuff up. Yeah. Um, yeah. This also sold extremely close to asking. So congratulations to the purchaser and seller of that home. Yeah. Uh, Lauren, thank you so much thank for you coming, for sitting me. with me and I talking with me. It. Thank you for explaining to me what a cattle guard is. <laughs> yeah. I feel so much better. Yeah, I can just tell you all kinds of interesting facts about that kind of stuff. I so. would love to sit down and learn a little bit about that from you. That would be wonderful. Um, so I just want to mention again, right now we are having nominations for everything in Hunt County. Um, but if you would be so kind as to go and vote for your, or nominate your favorite real estate agency, which is obviously at Home Texas Real Estate, uh, you can go to the Herald Banner website and do that. We'll post a link to our Facebook later today. We always want to thank Derek Price for lending us this studio and um, doing all the wonderful, wonderful work with us. And yeah, that's yeah. it. We will see you next week on Monday Market Update. Thank Bye. you. Family is very important to us and that's why we wanted to bring family to our business. We tell folks that at Home Texas Real Estate, we work as a team and we're all working together to try to sell your house or we're all working together to help you find the right one that you want to buy. With At Home Texas Real Estate, it's our family helping your family.